Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is in the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with Chef Paul Brahini and today's FRDC featured species is the yellowfin brim. Now Paul, I love to catch brim on lures and bait, but how do you like to cook them? What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do it with a tempura butter, so real simple. Well, while you're cooking the brim, let's find out more about this widespread species. The vast majority of recreational fish shows in Australia don't need to be told that brim is one of our great staple fish species right down the east coast. Yellowfin brim occur from far north Queensland to the Gippsland Lakes in Victoria. Basically we need some soda water, some plain flour, one egg white and some salt and pepper. Genetic investigation has shown that this species forms a single east coast population. One biological stock with a general northward dispersal of adults and southward dispersal of larvae. And now we're going to add some flour. Yellowfin brim is considered sustainable, a status which has been maintained by fisheries management measures such as a two centimetre increase of minimum size in Queensland. So the way to test the batter that it's good is to grab your spoon and put it in and just make sure that the batter coats the back of the spoon. In 2010-11, the commercial catch for yellowfin brim in Queensland was 111 tonne and recreational catch was 212 tonne with commercial catch increasing to 134 tonne in 2013-14. The combined black brim and yellowfin brim catch in New South Wales for 2013-14 was 314 tonne. So Aussies love to eat yellowfin brim. So there's a little trick that I'm gonna show you now is how you get that really crunchy sort of tempura batter. And what we have to do is pop some batter into my oil before I put my fish in. So I just pop this on top, just hold it for a little while and then let it go. And what this does, it cooks the batter, it also stops the fish from um, sticking on the bottom of the pan and it will just add that beautiful extra crunch. Okay, how we know it's done is you can actually feel the crispiness of the batter and it floats to the top. So this, these guys are just ready to come out now. Okay, so I'm just gonna rest the fish. The batter will just get that little bit more crunchy and I love the way it looks with these little shards. And then we're just gonna to top that with a little small Asian salad. So there we go, mate. Wow, yellowfin brim has never looked so good. For more facts and figures on yellowfin brim, go to fish.gov.au or visit fishfiles.com.au for loads of nutritional information, serving ideas and recipes. Or visit the Escape with ET website for Paul's tempura brim.